the most pressing question I get asked is how do you remember all the tangles and their names? There are so many. In a recent survey that I conducted, the top struggle for tanglers was remembering the tangles and their names. Well, I don't remember all the tangles or their names. It's just not humanly possible. Plus, that's not at all a requirement to make us entangle. However, I have a few tangles that are my absolute favorites that I'm most comfortable playing and exploring and those that I often use. If you have been watching my videos for a while, you know I love triple, print ends, flux, moon pie. Well, actually, the few favorites of mine run over hundreds and I'm always looking for new tangles to add more to my repertoire. So it's all about having the system to record your tangles for your reference. And over the years, I have tried few depending upon my journey at that point of time. So as a beginner, I wanted to have the tangles with, with their step outs. Uh, it was important for me to have uh, an image of the step outs so I can refer to them um, while I'm creating. So as a beginner, at that point of time in my journey, I created um, something like this for my reference. So I would put them in these plastic sleeves and I would use a binder to bind them. And I would just pick them up every time I wanted to tangle and take a look. So this was my setup at that point of time. Later, as I grew comfortable with my tangles and um, with my journey I started adding the tangles in one of those bijou ties and I started filing them this way so I would know I would just look at the tangle I would know the step outs and I would get started so this worked for me and I I sometimes still refer this but as I went on ahead in my journey I realized I needed um, to collect them based on the kind of tangles they were. So here I started filing them based on what kind of tangles they were. So was it organic tangles? Was it, um, so, so I would have all the organic tangles listed here. And was this floral tangle? Was it a filler tangle? So these were some of uh, the, the categories that I wanted to have my uh, tangles divided into. So this worked for a while for me. So I, I do go back to all these previous methods once in a while, but now I've kind of come up with this beautiful system that um, I have developed to add on to my tangle collection and to refer back. So more about this is coming soon, so stay tuned.